Adding Firebase to your Android Studio project involves a few steps. Here's how you can do it. First, set up a Firebase project. Go to the Firebase console, click on Add Project, and follow the setup instructions. Once your project is created, click on Add App and select the Android icon. Next, register your app by entering your Android app's package name, providing an app nickname if you wish, and the SHA1 key, which is optional but recommended for authentication and other features. To get the SHA1 key, open the terminal in Android Studio and run the command Dodge Gradlu Signing Report. Look for the SHA1 key under the debug variant and click Register App. After that, download the Google Services JSON file provided by Firebase after registration and move this file into your Android project under the app type directory. Now, add the Firebase SDK to your project. First, add the Firebase plugin by opening your project level build.gradle file, usually in the root directory, and adding the following class path to the dependencies section. Class path com.google.gems.google services 44. Zero. Then apply the plugin by opening your app level build.gradle file inside the app calc folder and adding the following at the bottom of the file. Apply plugin com.google ms.google services. Next, add Firebase dependencies. Still in the app level build.gradle, add the necessary Firebase SDKs such as implementation com.google.firebase.firebase analytics. 21.3 points for analytics and implementation com.google.firebase.firebase auth 22.1.0 for authentication. Use the Firebase Android SDK to find dependencies for your required services and sync your Gradle files to download the dependencies. After that, initialize Firebase in your app. Open your app's main activity or other entry point and add the following code inside the onCreate method to initialize Firebase. Import com.google.firebase, Firebase app. Override protected void, on create, bundle saved instant state. Super.onCreate saved instant state. Firebase app dot initialize app this. Finally, verify the setup by running your app to check if Firebase is integrated correctly. Visit the Firebase console to verify if the connection is successful, for example, by checking analytics events. Additionally, enable Firebase services depending on what you need, such as authentication, Firestore, or real-time database in the Firebase console and add the respective dependencies. For some Firebase services, you may need to add permissions to the Android manifest.xml, such as 